Happy sunshine, boys and girls. Welcome back. Lunacy is here with a, another new development in the Heather Antucci Randall K. Beam case. I, I think it's a development in the case. What this is, is an observation that may or may not be related, but it's pretty huge. Now you remember that Heather Antucci has purportedly made UCC filings through the One People's Public Trust of 1776 and has foreclosed on the wealthy families that own the banks and own the United States Corporation. One of those families is the Rothschilds. And this is really interesting. An article from August 22nd. So six days ago. The Rothschild family dumps the US dollar for gold and other currencies. Bitcoin question mark. This is really interesting to me because of what's going on in Heather Ann Tucci's and Randy Bean's trial. Well, they haven't gotten to the trial yet, but just the case. And this centers around Heather Ann Tucci's claim that the government has a lack of standing. They don't have the authority to do what they're doing to her. And she cites this UCC paperwork as her foundation for making these claims. And one of the big events that people are anticipating is access, the unfettered access to these Treasury Direct accounts. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of history on myself. I've been trained in accounting. I have an undergraduate degree in accounting and I have a master's degree. Uh, I've got my MBA. Now at no time in any of my training and my more than a year plus working as a financial analyst for National City Bank, at no time did anybody ever teach me how money was created, the actual nuts and bolts mechanics of it. It only is created and arises through debt. And I'm not sure just what denomination the value is that's in these TDA accounts, but people are pulling out American dollars right now. And if something were to happen in the near future that gave us all access, unfettered access to that, <clears throat> that would flood our economy with money. And and I just don't know what would happen. Our, our economy is completely artificial from what I can glean by all of my analysis. And so we're coming up to Heather Ann Tucci's hearing tomorrow. She's got a jurisdiction hearing. And the one woman in the Neil Wolf video that we finally found that mentions Parker Still's earpiece, there is, I forget her name, I know she says it in there, but it's a woman, a brunette, and she's the one that got kicked out of the courtroom. And she said that Heather has already successfully defended the identity hearing stage and there's, there's legal precedent that's already set. Now, I, I don't know where to look for that precedent. If you guys can find that, point me to it, that would be wonderful. I would love to hear that. Send that to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E -E, at protonmail.com. So, who knows if Jacob Rothschild 
Lord Jacob Rothschild is really telling the truth here. But this is interesting. I'm going to read this quote. Our significant U.S. dollar position has now been somewhat reduced as, following the dollar's rise, we saw interesting opportunities in other currencies as well as gold. The latter reflecting our concerns about monetary policy and ever-declining real yields. So I don't know if this is a huge piece. <clears throat> I don't know if this is related to Heather Antucci and Randy Bean's case. <clears throat> but I find it very interesting that basically the head of the Rothschild family is dumping assets in U.S. dollars and uh, gaining assets that are monetized outside of our monetary system. And I wonder why. They're, Lord Rothschild's not going to make a move like that without a very sound, pressing reason. Like, this is a chess move, and I don't know what it means or why. But I find the timing suspicious when I look at where we're at with Heather Ann Tucci's case. I mean, now, now we're where the, the grindstone meets the axe, so to speak. We're, we're right on the edge. We're coming up to the hearings, the pretrial hearings, and then the, uh, then the trial itself if it goes that far. And the Rothschilds are dumping US dollars for safer investments. I, I wonder, I wonder. All right, keep your emails coming. There's a really good discussion going on in the comments of all these videos. You guys are a really high vibrational bunch. And I can tell that your hearts are filled with love. If you got any love lighter links for me, send them to lunacy at protonmail.com. We'll be back soon. More observations. I love you guys. Bye-bye.